All righty. Good evening or afternoon, whenever you're watching it, I guess. Uh, Coach Reitzel here. I'll be giving a little information about the Shelton Bulldogs boys basketball season. Uh, coaches for the season were Coach Werke, Coach Jensen, and myself. The Bulldog team for the 2019-2020 season. Seniors, Ben Bombeck, Ryde Cheney, Marcus Lauber, Erickson Ramos, Colby Sutton, and Kyle Ween. Juniors, Tyson Kenton, Angel Lynn, Ryan Lewis, and Jose Montanez. Sophomores, Christian Bly, Kellen Gage, Zach Myers, and Kobe Reitzel. Freshmen, Quinn Cheney, Will Rowe, and Sam Stewart. Student managers, Justin, Riley, and Griffin. Our statistician on the iPad was Riley Bombeck. And then we'd like to thank our scorebook keepers, uh, Aaron Bly, Mr. Kenton, and Mrs. Potter. All right, season highlights, uh, varsity record for the season was 16-7. and seven. And just want to show uh, results for the season. Uh, Pre-holiday tournament or pre-Christmas time, we had a five and one run. Started off with a tough Elm Creek team and then kind of rolled off a few wins. Uh, have a little bit more about the holiday tournament here in a second. Show a few pictures first here of the season. Uh, good group of guys that we had to work with. Uh, strong senior group of leaders uh, on the court. Some were quiet leaders. Some, you know, voiced themselves a lot more to the younger guys. But you know, they worked with the younger guys from the freshmen, sophomores, and juniors below them. Uh, they worked well together, and I think they really made each other and the younger guys better throughout the season. Uh, I thought we really started playing well as a team towards the uh, end of the season. Uh, little things like help side defense and just picking each other up off the court better than we were maybe early in the season. And you can kind of tell a team when the bench goes crazy throughout games. Uh, this, I think, is a given game, and the entire bench is up and roaring. Uh, we had refs telling us to make sure we had the managers and guys on the bench stay behind the line and out of the way, out of their way. So just a good season as far as the whole group of 17 guys that we had. All right, holiday tournament. Uh, we had Exeter, Milligan, and Alma. Uh, Silver Lake was the host school. And we kind of thought Exeter, Milligan might be the best of the other three schools there. We'd had them first draw, of course. And um, their team that just really executes everything do they do really well. Uh, they had some length and tall big guys inside. So we knew it'd be a tough game coming in with no practice time. Uh, we scouted them out pretty well. And I think the scout team guys really helped us uh, get this victory. We struggled a little bit scoring wise to start the game. And, you know, we, I think our scout guys really ran their offense better than the extra Milligan did. I think it really helped us just know what we were doing and what they, to expect that they were doing. And then the championship game with Alma, uh, we just kind of took control and dominated them. Uh, we didn't let them get into what they wanted to do. Uh, we had extreme pressure defensively on them. Uh, our guards really made it tough on their guards to bring the ball up court, uh, to get open guys, to get open shots. So just a really good tournament for us. Uh, one of the things we started doing second half of the season was kind of upping the pressure a little bit at the holiday tournament, but then especially later uh, into the season, um, full court pressure, some of our quick guys and just let them go trap when they saw it. Uh, some one, three, one traps that just worked out well. Some of our length, um, guys just worked really well together and, uh, kind of gelled on some of these ideas, newer things that we ran with a little bit. And we had some individual performances throughout the year i think we had probably five or six different guys lead us in scoring in games uh, from angel and marcus to um, rye and quinn i think one game and uh, erickson just a bunch of guys that could put the ball in the basket as needed uh, guys that came off the bench and played hard and played well um, angel came off the bench early in the season colby came off the bench later in the season erickson came off the bench most of the season ryan played some minutes uh, Quinn came in and played some big minutes throughout the year. 
Um, you know, we had a lot of little things we changed or did throughout the year a little bit differently, a lot of set plays. Uh, we did some screen and roll things here that were not necessarily new, just did things a little bit differently to improve our game. And then holiday tournament, uh, we were the Twin Valley Conference 2020 tournament champions. Started off with the home game against Silver Lake with us being the higher seed. Uh, we won that one pretty handily. Moved on with Blue Hill. I had a game at Kennesaw and really just made them work to get anything. Did a nice job against them. And there's a little bit of a revenge factory with Deschler. Uh, we let them get a win against us on our home court earlier in the season. Uh, we went over and really just played more physical and just made them work to get anything. Uh, I thought the guys just really played extremely well against them in the holiday turn. Or excuse me, in the conference tournament. Uh, one of the biggest factors I think was something like this, where we just didn't let them uh, push us around like we did the first game. We didn't let them get position. We just really out hustled and out played them defensively, made everything tough for them. Also, pretty cool that we were playing Hastings College. Just the really. A uh, nice atmosphere, a uh, good crowd from opponent opposing teams, uh, a lot of our student body there. So it was kind of cool that we got to take a picture with the students that came to our championship game. All right, look at the seniors. They'll be moving on their way. Rai Chini, uh, two-year player here, had a couple years at Cody Kilgore before he got here. A uh, really quick guy that can pressure people and uh, has great eyes up to court when he's handling the ball coming down uh, on a fast break or just with a uh, press or anything. Uh, sees guys, sees open people, and gets them the basketball. Um, Stat-wise, it's kind of hard to tell. Uh, he wasn't necessarily worried about scoring or anything. He just wanted to improve the teammates. You know, it's hard to tell how he affects his opponents or whoever he's guarding because it's tough when a guy is that quick at guarding you that – you know, maybe it's time steals. It's just pressure against uh, the next pass or help side defense. Uh, just a really good kid that helped our team throughout the last couple of years. All right, our next guy, number two, Kyle Ween. Uh, another guy that doesn't maybe fill the stat page up, but just out hustles people. Um, is aggressive and very intelligent uh, basketball IQ kid that just wants to go out and uh, improve the team and himself. Really doesn't care if he scores usually. He's more worried about who can I stop from scoring. Uh, if that's going to help us win, he's the guy that would go out and you know guard the best player in the other team and try to shut them down. Uh, points, you know, maybe weren't the biggest thing. He'd love to get a few here or there, but would kind of grind out, get a few rebounds, hit a couple short ones. Uh, the big stat maybe that, again, is hard to uh, measure is how many points do you prevent the other guy from getting? You know, if he's scoring below his average, you probably did your job for the night. And that's pretty much where we put Kyle a lot. Put him on the, to the tough guy, the guard. All right, next guy here, number 10, Erickson Ramos. Uh, this guy, when Erickson heats up, it's hard to guard him. He can shoot and get on a streak and, you know, pour off four or five threes in a row. Um, very aggressive. Isn't going to back down from anyone defensively. Uh, going to go in and battle the big guys. Uh, Let us in three-point shooting as far as uh, makes, 25 or 81 on the year. Uh, free throws, 84% for the season. Um, 55 threes in his career, just really good shooter from the outside that, you know, if you're going to guard someone else and leave him open, he's going to make you suffer or pay for it. All right. Next guy, Ben Bombeck, number 23 here. I don't, I didn't believe he had that big of a vertical. He must have had a Springs against Deschler or something in that college court, Ben. Um, guy that's played for four seasons, um, I know as a freshman, kind of got thrown in to play a lot of minutes and was probably maybe not ready for it um, as much as he was on the court. A lot of pressure as far as uh, playing time and taking care of the ball and some other things. Uh, definitely shooting in his range on these shots. 
We want to keep him inside the lane. I think he is. He made one on the year. Is that what he made, Ben? Let's take a look at the stats here. <clears throat> I didn't throw it in there. What? I didn't throw your threes. Well, uh, good job as far as inside rebounder, physical kid that go guard anyone. Uh, career free throws. That's just a ton of free throws for a guy to put up that maybe isn't the leading scorer on a team. And the main thing was no technicals this year. Good news. And no penguin slides this year because those can lead to stitches, I hear. And I just like that picture. All right, our next guy. Number 24, Marcus Lobber. Uh, probably one of the better uh, athletes that I've been around in a while here. Um, guy can shoot from the outside. He can guard people inside or outside. Uh, we <laughs> couldn't find anyone that could really guard him one-on-one -on -one throughout the year. Um, has a vertical that's crazy, obviously. A state high jumper. Just really solid athlete that um, probably could try to score 25 a game if he was selfish. But uh, he, he would pass the ball. We'd almost have to tell him to take shots sometimes where – you know, he would look for a teammate. Um, sometimes the teammates better be ready because the pass is coming and it's coming with a little heat. But strong player. Um, best part of the season maybe is how excited Marcus would get when he got a chance to throw one down. And it happened a few times. I lost track. That's probably a good thing, huh? Um, Career-wise, just, you know, fills up the stat page. Um even just on things you wouldn't think a big guy had, you know, like assists and just a lot of little things, help side defense, scaring people, coming over, help side to get blocks. But his number one fan is this guy. All right, next guy, number 32, Colby Sutton. Uh, streaky shooter again, kind of like Erickson, but if Colby was on, you better watch out because he hit him from outside. Um, guy would play tough inside, would not back down from the big post that we are going against. Um, good team player. You know, look for teammates on the court. He'd cheer for them when he's on the sideline, come in, you know, bust his butt and guard a guy. Um, wasn't too worried about the stats side, but he led us percentage wise in three point shooting. You just kind of sit out there, old Sam Perkins style, the big smooth. I had a few blocks on the year, but biggest thing I always thought was uh, the post denials. He was not going to let a post guy catch the ball. Uh, just outworked a guy and was tough on those offensive players. All right, some uh, season awards here. I'll just scroll through these pretty quick. Marcus and Angel for Carney Hub All Territory Team. Grand Island Independent, same guy as Marcus and Angel. Uh, the World Herald, honorable mention for Marcus and Angel. Lincoln Journal Star. NSAA uh, Academic All State for Kellen Gig. Twin Valley Conference, Marcus on first team selection and then selected to the all-star game angel second team all-conference selection kyle selected to the all-star game and then erickson as uh, selected as an alternate to the all-star game congratulations to all you guys on that our letter winners are the 14 guys that suited up um, on varsity and got some minutes we would like to thank you know, all the teammates, the student managers, the parents, the fans that came, supported us throughout the season. Definitely will be a season that we remember. Especially for the seniors. I uh, hate to see you guys go. But the good news is you can always come back. You can visit us. You can bring friends from college. Uh, show them the banner up there and the conference championship that we'll put up there sometime soon. All right, thank you. Uh, and thanks for the season, gentlemen, that we're on the team.